is going well and you're enjoying yourselves. I um, thought I'd uh, do a little bit of um, Yuletide jive today. Um, inspired by the Drifters. It's just killer video here on YouTube. Really funny stuff. Um, one of our contributing YouTube members uh, decided to take it upon himself to create a killer cartoon for uh, the Drifters version of White Christmas, which is where I came to actually even know of this version of this song, which is pathetic. I should really have known that version of, 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 uh, of White Christmas. Drifters, man, so cool. Anyway, they do it in the key of A flat, right? <laughs> So, guys, the scale first, right? We should always do the scale whenever you're learning a new song so you know exactly where the notes are coming from, right? So it's in the key of A-flat major, not a very guitar-friendly key. That's not true. I, just, I mean, just kind of just think outside the box a little bit. No big deal. Oh, most guitar players hate flat keys. Anyway, start with A-flat with your fourth finger. And we're going to play A-flat, B-flat, C. Do a D-flat. Right, so fret four. flat F G G is open and then two and A flat cool second octave you say sure thing A flat B flat C D flat E flat F G A flat right pretty cool sound tones in there, flat seven, flat third. Anyway, melody, here we go. <clears throat> it's gonna be so much fun. Um, start off with uh, with the C. Okay, let's do this C, G string fifth fret. Okay. So fret wise, I guess first, five, six, five, four, five. Next string, B string, three, four. Note wise, right? It's all about notes, not numbers. C, B natural. I'm sorry, D flat. C, B, C, D flat. D natural, E flat. Going on from there, we're gonna kind of walk up the scale from this F. F, G, A flat, B flat, one, three, four, six. So it's starting to sound like something. Cool. Let's review. Let's review, you guys. Take it nice and slow from the C and the fifth fret of the G string. Some people like to see things on paper as well. If you do like to see things on paper, check out my website, um, thefretbuzz.com, um, to get manuscript for this lesson. All right, um, where are we? 
Just like the ones I used to know. Oh! Okay. Da da da. A, B flat, C. Ah, oh, I was sharp, sorry. So, one, three. A flat, B flat, to C. One more time. Right? A flat, E flat. Sorry, backwards. E flat, A flat. Four, one. Four, B. One on G. D flat, C. Now this cool little turning riff. I like doing it there because the notes sound a bit thicker, you know? So we'll have D flat, a trill between C and D flat with your third and fourth finger. If that finger's not developed yet, if you're still, if you're still working on that sort of thing, uh, this is a great song to have it happen in. Where you can go between the first and second finger, slide back to B flat, A flat, sixth fret of the G string, and then back, right? snow or right even if you're like a more advanced player this is going to end up being killer when we uh, turn the single note melody into a chord solo just in time for the holidays good grief come back next week when I have another, the uh, the next lesson up for uh, for this tune we'll be playing chords and melody at the same time everybody it's going to be glorious where would we just leave off with the trill let's just review that part one more time And then F to C, flat. Call it B if you want to, to C flat. So let's do the whole thing, you guys. This will be, this will be nice and clean and beautiful. Okay, uh, C. One, two, three, uh. Practice that. Pause it. Go back if you need to. Whatever you have to do, just do it. Make it clean. We're going to go on to the second part in just a moment. Oh, I, I, I am dreaming. Oh, why? So the next part of the melody, we're going to start to um, develop this theme a little bit. We're not. They did. But we're still going to work on it together. All right. So. Whoops. So. E flat to A flat. That's <laughs> such a cool riff. I am dreaming. So E flat, A flat. G. F, G, F. Uh, trill. Trilly diddly. To C. F, E flat. You can slide if you'd like. Kind of a cool sound. 11th fret to the 4th fret. And we're going to walk back up again from the F like we did before. Okay. From there, A flat, B flat, C. Okay, and then from there, one more time with that last riff, and they all, your Christmases. Hear that whole part together. Two, three, four. Thank you. 
the next section of this. For all you people that want to get more into chords, ah, oh, let's get down. Check back, everyone. Subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be lots of uh, lots of more uh, fun and excitement here at uh, at the Fret Buzz channel. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. I'm Greg Pierce from the Fret Buzz. <laughs> thank you. Thanks very much. It's so good to have you here. Thank you. Um, yeah, this lesson we're going to be continuing uh, what we set out to do in the first place, and that was to create a chord solo um, uh, for the tune White Christmas, as recorded by the Drifters in the key of A flat major. We did the scale one way for the beginning students last time. Uh, we'll take uh, the same scale again, this time in a couple different positions, just so you can kind of explore um, some improvisational possibilities over the progression that you're about to learn. A flat major in the third position would end up looking like this. Right? Four, six. Three, four, six. Three, five, six. Twice. Four to six. Three, four. You might be saying to yourself, why can't I learn notes? Do I, can I, do I have to learn it that way? No, you don't have to. Um, I would suggest doing this A flat, B flat. C, D, E flat. Sorry, C, D flat, E flat. Uh, F, G, A flat. All right, done. So we have the scale A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat. All right, it's always good to recite the scale uh, as you're becoming familiar with the finger word and trying to, uh, to branch out into some new directions, right? You're always going to have keys that you're comfortable with right off the bat, but I mean, encourage yourself, right? In other words, push yourself. To, uh, to learn some things in different positions. One more version. You guys probably already know this one, but just three notes per string. Ah! Good. Excellent. Good work, everybody. Good work. We're going to move right along. I'll explain like the uh, numerical harmony as we're going along and show you some new voicings. Um, they might not be new, but this is how the, how the progression would end up sounding. So we're going to uh, A flat major seven in, in fourth position. All right? Anyone know what this chord is? All right, good. I heard someone say A diminished out there. That's true, but it's also functioning as, uh, as the five, seven, flat nine, of two. What the what? Exactly. You can have a dominant chord lead you anywhere, in, in a key, outside of a key, whatever. Dominant chords typically resolve to one. They can also resolve to six if you're, if you're speaking diatonically. However, you can also have these secondary dominants that resolve to different chords in the key, right? So if I say to myself, self, my two chord is B flat minor seven. What's five of two? Okay, so what's a perfect fifth higher than B flat, everybody? Right, F, right? Cool, so we have an F, F7. I'm adding in a flat nine just for some extra color. Is there an F in this chord? Oh, sorry, no, there's not. But we do have the third, the fifth, the seventh, and the flat nine. A is the third. Uh, e flat is the seventh. G flat is the flat nine. C is the fifth, right? So we're going A flat. I'm sorry for all that talking. One chord, A flat major. Six beats. On beat three of the second measure, you're going to be changing to this F7 flat nine or A diminished. For two beats, transitional chord into B flat minor seven. E flat nine. Uh, from there, the next two bars are just going to be basically E flat nine moving the bass between the one and the five of the chord, like this. Go back to this A natural as a passing tone into A flat. If you'd like, don't have to do it. You can just hang out on the four chord. I'm sorry, on the fourth fret for the A flat chord if you'd like for just those two bars. <sighs> Like 
picked up. Well, all right. Uh, the next part has this cool walking bass sort of thing. We're descending from A flat major, right? A flat major seven in third inversion. A flat dominant seven in third inversion. To an A flat six or F minor seven. It's the same notes. From there, D flat major seven. There's one way we can play that part. We can also go D flat major seven to D flat minor six. Ah, very cool sound, yeah? This chord here, check out this chart. Chart's there, here's the fingering. For, let's see, second fret, fourth fret. What am I talking about? Second finger, fourth fret. Sixth fret, third fret, fifth fret. Right? D flat, A flat, you're not going to like this. D flat, A flat, B flat, F flat. Why F flat? Okay, well, when you're playing a D flat major chord, the, um, the, the, the major third is an F. Whenever you go from major to minor, when you flat the third, you have to uh, you know, still keep the letter name intact for it to be theoretically correct, right? We have to have a D of some sort, an F of some sort, an A of some sort, right? So if I said D flat E, right, to A flat, that would be weird because the F, like the, the actual third of the chord is now missing because we're calling it by a different letter. You're right, it's still the actual same sound, just a different way of referring to the, to the same pitch. Would people get it? They'd get it, but it's just not, you know, it's not, uh, it's not theoretically correct. And now the turn is going to be um, A flat. Sleigh bells in the snow. F minor seven. B flat minor seven. To an E flat. Um, e flat dominant seven flat nine. E flat flat nine. So um, now that. That note that sounds kind of tricky resolves beautifully back to the fifth of the A flat chord. Oh my god. So good, right? All right, so the slow tempo, um, slow tempo, no percussion, right? No drums. Drummer, sit this one out, baby. Sit it out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. A flat. Passing chord now, ready? F7, flat 9, B flat 7, minor 7, E flat 9. Now, block the bass. Back to the long chord. A flat major 7. Now, A flat. First and uh, major 7, dominant 7. F minor 6, D flat major 7. Six, take a breath. And you're back into the same progression again for the second part of the verse. The turnaround the second time around. May all your Christmases be white. That part. The turn's a little bit different. We go A flat major seven, one chord. Right. Two chord, five chord, back to one. We can play one like this, or here, or here. Uh, let's do um, like this. Oh, <laughs> that one's sick. So beautiful. Yeah. Or here. Um, it's the same idea, you know? All kinds of great chords. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed yourself learning the chord progression for White Christmas. Have, uh, you know what you should do is like record yourself playing the first part of the melody and then, um, and then check out these chords over the top of it. The first lesson that I did, White Christmas 1, um, the melody is recorded at 130 beats per minute. So is this. So if you want to, just go back through and practice your chords along with that. Can you loop things on YouTube? Can you loop it? I don't think so. You can at the fret buzz. Fret buzz has a looping feature on the videos. You should go there. 
Enjoy yourselves. Um, be good to one another and uh, happy holidays. Bye.